Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, well is there some FM mode in shortwave? Yes there is. Now most portable radios and a big majority of radios do not have FM as a standard and the reason why there's really not a lot of FM on shortwave. So a lot of radios omit that fact because they have to add extra circuitry in order to listen to FM mode transmissions. Once again, FM could be very, very um, difficult to grasp as a concept because like AM, which is a mode, amplitude modulation, FM in North America has been associated mostly with the FM broadcast band where we listen to our music and the FM stations. Once again, the real bandwidth, the real band, the real name we should give FM band is VHF because that's the frequency range. FM is just a mode of transmission. Now there's different types of FM. Narrow FM and wide FM. If you listen to international broad, uh, inter <laughs> FM stations, sorry, broadcast band stations on FM, you listen to your favorite music, favorite station, that's wide FM. It's a very wide bandwidth mode so for example here this is narrow FM you could see here on the screen you see its size if I would switch to wide FM look at how big this is this is what an FM radio station would actually get in bandwidth and even more because you would probably be using this length so that's why wide FM is never ever ever never used on shortwave it's too wide of a mode but narrow FM is definitely used. Narrow FM is usually in 12 kilohertz uh, bandwidth. And where do you encounter uh, narrow FM? Well, you could encounter it, uh, first of all, in the upper part of 26 megahertz. So in 26 megahertz, um, if you start at roughly 25 800 and you go to about 25 300 there's some uh, studio to transmitter links these are in FM mode and basically they are meant to be local transmissions they are meant to be sending out a um, studio a studio audio to the transmitter site for broadcast thing is around this range 26 megahertz well, when propagation is really good, when solar activity is really high, even though that transmission could be just a few watts, it can actually propagate around the world. So tune in and narrow FM around this range, uh, 25,800 to 26,400. 26, you might be surprised. You'll hear something. Now, there's also some CB, uh, European CB band, as for a long time on the... Uh, especially the out-of-band stations, use FM mode. So narrow FM could be encountered in the CB range uh, anywhere from 26,000 to 27,900. And so don't be surprised to hear some FM there. And um, the last part where you'll hear FM is the 29 megahertz 10 meter band range. And 29,300 to 29,700. Um, the 10 meter band is using narrow FM modes. So 29, not 28, 29, um, 300 roughly to 29, 700, you will hear some narrow FM. Some simplex, which is station to station direct. And on 29, 600 to 29, 700, you have repeaters, which have their inputs. Uh, a little lower in the uh, 100 kilohertz lower usually so narrow FM is used in amateur bands on 10 meters so this is where narrow FM could be used um, I still remember when I got my kin with our 5000 and I saw that FM button it took a while before I heard anything FM but when I did uh, I was there I remember 25870 hearing uh, WFLA studio the transmitter link um, back in the day, and it was uh, broadcasting Rush Limbaugh in the afternoon. I remember listening to the repeaters 
uh, one that was very popular for a while in the 90s, uh, 29620 was uh, Virgin Islands. Uh, 660? It's, yeah, 660. Sorry. 29660. It was a Virgin Islands FM repeater. That was a very popular one. And with high solar activity, it was very popular. So as we are in high solar activity, you should actually use that FM mode on your transceiver or um, iron end desktop. Um, of course, SDRs have FM mode. Remember to switch to narrow FM. Don't leave yourself in wide FM. You'll hear nothing in wide FM because it's too wide. You really need to shuffle to narrow FM and be around 12 kilohertz spacing or bandwidth for narrow FM transmissions to be heard. So um, that is the little trick there. Now, you don't have an FM receiver and no portable really does FM on shortwave. So is there a trick? Is there something I can do? Well, a little trick that I've used over the, the uh, different years is that if you hear a transmission that's FM, say it's on 29 uh, 450. Well, what you could do to get that 29450 uh, FM signal on a analog AM, more of an AM mode radio, is to tune a slightly off. So instead of tuning 29450, you could tune like 29447, 448. And that little offset that you have in AM, actually, even though it's still going to be a little distorted, will probably be enough for you to hear the transmission. So if it's an amband transmission, you'll you'll hear the conversation, uh, even though you don't have an FM-capable shortwave receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.